Hi everyone and um, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another Weber video. This time I'll be using my big Weber and we are going to be cooking a um, leg pork roast on there along with some beef patties. We're going to be using um, some hickory and a, some native called manuka which we use quite a bit over here for smoking fish with. Um, I use it for cooking uh, on the barbecue as well with the meat. It gives it a nice distinctive New Zealand flavour. So we'll add some of that with some hickory and um, we'll be cooking up that for you this afternoon. Uh, one thing I bought the other week was I bought one of these chimney stacks for the coals. This works really great and I should have bought this years ago when I first started using the Weber. It contains all the charcoals in here and it just heats so much faster than um, how I used to do it. So um, stick around and um, I hope you enjoy this video and, um, and we shall cook our roast and our beef patties. So um, stick around. Now what I normally do is, as you've probably seen my previous video, is I just put a few into the bucket. Put a few in there. And I've got, um, well it's going to rain soon, so I've got a funny feeling I'll be cooking some of this barbecue in the shed. We just cut a few strips off here. Yeah, I cut it to this sort of size, you know, it's quite handy and it's um, when you soak it in water it sort of absorbs the water quite quickly so the idea is though as you know well for people here that want to know is um you want your wood to be smoking and not on fire. You can add um water or if you like you know red wine or, or some bourbon or something like that. I put it into the bucket. Starters here. Get a couple of those, put those in there, and then we'll <coughs> and then we'll load the um, load the tray up with some heat beads. Load this tray up. Should be enough. There we go. We'll light those and we'll just stick your heat beads on top. Next we'll do, we'll just drain the water. Here we 
there's the one occur in the in the hickory. And I think the barbecue's ready to work. Alright guys, I think that's ready. So we'll just um, tip these charcoals out. To one side. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. There's charcoals on this side. Right. Just add a few, a few hickory chips inside there. Add some manuka as well. We want to get this smoking up really well. Yep. Yeah. A few there. So what I'll do is I'll just add um, add more more of this when we're cooking. So there we go. the meat and and go solid. Yep, so we just gotta sit here and wait now. While we're waiting, we might as well have a as Bill Gaudi would say, get your priorities straight. Smells really nice. So, what I'm using today, I bought this, these things here, Samba Hot Shots Barbecue Fuel. I haven't really used them before. I normally like using, uh, I normally use these heat beads. I found these were the best to use that I found to use on my Weber. Your heat beads. Some of you guys out there who are doing Webers um, let us know what you guys use. If you're here in New Zealand which ones do you prefer using? I find these ones here really hold the heat. Heat beads are made in Australia, Australian ones. I used to use them in there in Australia when I was living over there on my Weber. Original barbecue briquettes. It's about 15 bucks a bag, those ones. That's uh, four kilos. So I bought these ones today Samba Hot Shots Barbecue Fuel. I haven't tried them before. And these are about $20 a bag at Bunnings. Seven kilos. So you get a bit more in there for your price, so we'll soon, we'll soon tell if these are as good as the other ones. So um, yeah, so let us know in the comments what you guys uh, like to use, the charcoal ones, if you use charcoal. And um, yeah, Samba Hot Shots. We had some more bakery. Monica, there we go. Ow. 
Put a leaf through me. There we are. Yeah, well, there's our beef patties to go on soon, soonish. It's got um, just ground beef mince, and I pre-fried some onions in it. Gives them a nice little caramelised flavour. And I added some some of this roast lamb seasoning mix. It's got like a rosemary, oregano, mint, garlic, clove, flavour, bay leaf. And that one, salt and pepper. And also added a bit of Moroccan, Moroccan seasoning. Which has like chicken flavour, pepper, garlic, paprika, turmeric, coriander seed, cumin, capsicum, a bit of ginger. So just a tad of this one. A little bit of that. But I use mostly this one, so as you can see behind me, it's smoking really nice. So there we go. It's looking pretty good so far. There's hickory and the monica smoking nicely there. Patties over there. Two. Here we go. All right, we'll check these. We'll check the food. Burgers over. Mm, it's not nice. Well, I think it's going to rain again. Mm, they smell beautiful. Mm, yum. The pork smells nice. Over. I think they're ready. Been there for about an hour. Those meat patties look pretty good. Check those out. Hoo hoo hoo. Yummy. We'll just add a bit more hickory to that. 
and we'll give it about 10 minutes and I think at least those whistles are ready so I'm going to pork a bit longer Two for my daughter, she was hungry. Have a look at that. Now that looks pretty rim and nice. Guys, I've got to try this. Mmm. Smells nice. Mm. And that is Manuka and Hickory flavoured pork on the Weber. That is so, that is so yummy. Mmm. It's sweet, moist, tender. Yum. Yummy. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's three hours in the making, but it's well worth it. Mm. I'll see you all next time. Mmm. Some? No, the camera, I mean.